Welcome to BCH Technologies. This is Kevin. Today we're going to talk about how to make your sublimation ink have a more accurate color, brighter color, and uh, dramatically improve the quality of your transformation. Basically, human eyes are trained to look for contrast. So when you have a whole bunch of colors going on, it will be harder for you to tell if a color is true or not. If I put a two black place here, you cannot tell which one is the real black. And every color looks impressive. However, if we put them on a similar color spectrum, which has a narrower range of colors, we can easily tell that the top place is a true black and the bottom one is not. Therefore, when we select ink, we want to have an ink that can express a wider range of colors and make the black as dark as black so the printout color appear more eye-popping. ECH has a standard grid ink which we made it for a hobbyist or just trial sublimation. And then BCH has a premium ink used by professionals as a commercial product. BCH also makes the darkest dark a special black just for people who want the striking impressive prints. You can find the sublimation ink by going to bchtechnologies.com When you select an ink, focus on the black first. Black is the hardest color to transfer correctly. And the special dark black is even harder. The untransferred black element is dark brown. Under heat, different colors are transferred at different time. If the temperature or time is not sufficient, there will be untransferred black left. So the final result will be a brownish black. And make it more interesting, if you have the temperature too high or you press for too long, the colors will be desublimated, which means they transfer back to the original state. Therefore, you'll end up with another brownish black as well. So you have to make it just right. Because the special dark black has more black elements, it's even harder to get the color pressed correctly. After picking the ink, you need to calibrate the monitor. You can use the default color management or color profile come with the monitor. There are many tools that allow you to calibrate the monitor. Also, check out eBay for used calibration tools. Basically, you have a digital file. Without the calibration, you won't have the standard to compare to. Here we have two monitors. The top one is calibrated. You can see that there's a huge difference of a calibrated and non-calibrated monitor. The next thing you need to consider is what kind of a printer that you are going to use. If you can find a six-color printer, you will definitely choose the six color. However, there are many people who use four color printers. Most four color printers are designed for office use and do not have a sophisticated color management option. Therefore, color management is more important for these four color printers. Please watch the part two of this video and make sure you know how to manage the colors. Surprisingly, not all transfer papers are made equal. A few years ago, nearly all transfer papers were professionally made. Then, Amazon had it. Consequently, sellers tried to cut down prices by sacrificing the quality. The professional paper usually close up when we take them out of package. 
This is because it is split in big rows. Also, we can test the thickness of coating by wetting our fingers and touching the coated surface. For example, with the paper from Amazon, uh, we masked the brand and the seller's name has almost no coating at all. Different types of coating needs to be printed on a different setting. For example, we printed it on ECH transfer paper with a plain paper setting and a matte and a matte paper setting and I decided that the plain paper setting is the best. We also have a paper from a customer. When we print it on a, a plain paper setting, we can see a lot of details were missing. This problem was corrected when we print it with a matte paper setting. Uh, finally, we compare the result from uh, BCH paper and the customer's uh, paper. And uh, also, it's funny, is so we compare the Amazon transfer paper and uh, just regular piece of paper. You can see the deep black from the professional paper, and uh, Amazon paper is the same. Uh, I, I mean, actually, the regular paper actually beats Amazon paper by miles. So we were able to conclude that there's no difference between this Amazon transfer paper and uh, our plain uncoated copy paper. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, the next part we're going to talk about. Uh, of uh, transfer time and uh, transfer temperature and also color management. I hope you enjoyed this video. Visit us at www.bchtechnologies.com or locally at Greensboro, North Carolina. Thank you. Cheers.